what's up guys i'm ravi kiki and welcome to another java swings video so let's continue with where of uh, where we left off in our uh, last video uh, we pretty much saw how to create a gtap pane use how to, i mean how to code things uh, to create a gtap pane and in this video we are going to see how to create a gtap pane using netbeans palette okay so first of all what we'll have to do is we'll have to create a jframe form okay so just right click on this any any of the package uh, wherever you want to create a jframe form and just click on jframe form if you don't find jframe form over here just go to other and swings gui forms jframe form next and just type a name to your uh, uh, jframe form tab tutorial dot java you don't need to type java over here just click finish And there you go you have a j frame form okay so now let's start creating a j tab pane okay we saw how to create j tab pane how to code things okay in a previous video if you are not aware of what j tab pane is please watch my previous video okay so let's start off creating a j tab pane now just go to palette you'll find a tab pane control over here somewhere so there you go you have a tab pane just drag and drop that to your uh, J frame form and uh, resize it to whatever size you want. Okay, I want it uh, to this size. Okay, so just resize it to whatever size you want. As I said, the number of tabs you have, the number of panels you must have. Okay, so for I want to create three tabs. Let's say I want to create three tabs over here. So just go to palette again and drag and drop a panel to your uh, tab pane control okay so just drag and drop okay there 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 you go you have a first you have first tab created now i'm going to create a second tab okay so again uh, drag and drop panel to your uh just drag and drop that oops okay so one more thing you you must remember is you just uh, take care while uh, uh, I mean dragging and dropping a panel control to your J tab pane. Okay, okay. Whenever you are just uh, dragging and dropping, just make sure that these dotted dotted lines are highlighted. Okay, the border of the J frame, in the border of the J frame, you have dotted lines. Okay, now just release your mouse click. Okay, there there you go. There are two tabs. I'm gonna create the third tab same as the way just release okay we have three tabs created now how do you rename these tabs just either double click on this oops just oops I don't know why it's not renaming or just uh, right click go to edit tags and uh, type in whatever you want this is the first tab uh, this is a second tab second tab okay and this is a third tab as easy as that okay so now I want controls uh, to be displayed in uh, these tabs okay what we'll do is we'll take a label control to our first tab and just rename this first tab label label okay and in the second tab We'll take a button control and just rename this. This is the second uh, tab. Okay, second tab button. And in the third tab, let's take a label again and rename it to third tab label. Okay, there you go. We have tabs created, and inside these tabs, we have controls added. Okay, according to your requirements, you can add any control let's say uh, three labels three text fields two buttons whatever you want okay so we have created a uh, tabs so now let's run this code press shift f6 and there you go you have three tabs created first tab second tab and third tab and we have the controls that belongs to their respective tabs okay so that's it for this video guys if you have any doubts please comment i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i've uh, shown you how to create tabs of, uh, how to code things and uh, as well as how to drag and drop 
tap pain from your palate to your J frame. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. And in the next video, what will I think we'll see how to add an image to a J frame. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe, uh, comment if you have any doubts, and see you guys in the next video.